Unpacking, I Can't Afford That, A Guide to Understanding Financial Capacity. Hello, everyone, welcome to our English language learning channel. Today, we're going to dive into a very common phrase that you might hear in everyday conversations. I can't afford that. Understanding this phrase is not just about translating the words but grasping the context in which it's used. So, let's get started and unlock the meaning together. First things first, let's break down the verb, to afford. To afford something means having enough money or resources to purchase an item or experience without causing financial strain. It's not just about having the exact amount but having enough to comfortably make a purchase without compromising your ability to meet other financial obligations. Now, let's explore how and when to use, I can't afford that. This phrase can be used in a variety of situations, not just when shopping. It can relate to time, energy, or other resources. For example, saying, I can't afford to lose any more time, means that you don't have the luxury to waste time. Highlighting that, afford, can extend beyond financial contexts. It's important to understand the emotional weight behind, I can't afford that. This phrase often carries a sense of regret or limitation. It's a polite way to decline an offer or invitation due to financial constraints. In social contexts, being honest about affordability can be seen as vulnerable and authentic, strengthening trust in relationships. For those looking to expand their vocabulary, Consider these alternatives. It's out of my budget right now. I'm saving up for something else. That's a bit too pricey for me. These variations offer a softer or more specific way to discuss financial limitations without directly saying, I can't afford that. And that wraps up our guide to understanding, I can't afford that. We hope this video has shed light on the meaning usage, and the nuances behind this common English phrase. Remember, language learning is not just about words but understanding the context and emotions they convey. Keep practicing, and you'll find yourself navigating English conversations with confidence and ease. See you in the next video.